in. Hello, Facebook Live. It's so good to see you. His chosen warrior. How are you? God bless you. Blessings to you, my dear. Awaken the bride. Awesome handle. Thank you so much for coming in. You guys from Facebook Live, I'm going to try my best to look at you, but uh, bear with me, Miss, uh, Mrs. Jamila. Hello. God bless you. Um, my iPad wasn't working today. I don't know why. It just didn't want to flip the camera, but we'll try this and it will be just fine. Beverly, how are you? Good to see you. God bless you. Uh, G. Poller, hello. How are you? <clears throat> hello. Good morning. Good morning, JC. Good morning. Blessings. Welcome. So good to see you this morning. Happy Monday. Good morning. Hey, Nicole. God bless you. Um, happy Monday, guys. How are you today? Uh, Leon, hello. God bless you. We're still in the land of um, allergies today, but um, I got I got everything I need today. I had my allergy pill. I had my nasal spray, and I had my eye drops, so I'm good to go. I'm good to go today. Hey, Vanessa, how are you? Hey, uh, Kiki, God bless you. <clears throat> yes, please inbox me. I was hoping I did not miss it. I will be around this Friday, so please do let me know because I am gonna be. I'll make myself available for sure. I was thinking about it this morning. I'm like, oh, I hope I didn't miss it. I hope I didn't miss it. So good morning, guys. How are you? Uh, is smoking Logan? Uh, God bless you. I think I missed somebody coming in. Yes, I got my supplements on Saturday, Vanessa. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. I'm hoping that they work. No, I didn't. Awesome. I hope that they work. Uh, thank you so much for uh, your research and for sharing that information with me. That was so awesome of you. Thank you so much. Awesome. So good morning, guys. How are you today? So it's not 1030 yet. We're waiting for Tina Moore Brown and Pastor Kimberly Jones, but it is the Dream Team's past the cast. And uh, we have story time today. So I hope you're ready. I hope you're excited about story time because uh, it's going to be awesome. It really, really is going to be pretty awesome. So I hope that you are excited. I hope that you're ready. I hope that you're taking notes because it's going to be amazing. Uh, thank you, Vanessa. Uh, yes, please don't forget to share and don't forget to invite your friends. Hey, Cheryl, God bless you. Yeah, tap on that screen, you guys, on Facebook Live. If you can see me and hear me, okay, um, just give me some thumbs up or give me some hearts and I'll know that everything is working exactly as it should. I hope that it is. I really do. Awesome. So we're waiting for Tina Moore Brown. We're waiting for Pastor Kimberly Jones. And then we'll get started with our Monday Past the Cast because I, I decided to start a little early and I'm glad that I did because it took me about 20, 15 minutes to get to get the devices working today. I don't know why. Thank you so much, Cheryl, for inviting your friends. So guys, do me a favor on Facebook Live. You can go to the bottom of the screen to the left and you can invite your friends and they will be uh, blessed this morning because I have a story to tell you. And the title of today's broadcast is Why Being Still Will Get You There Faster, okay? And that, I am a pro. I'm going super duper fast and God is changing that for me for sure. He is changing that like crazy, and, and I've been sharing my journey with you, so hopefully that's blessing somebody. Good morning, Alicia. God bless you. Thank you so much for being here. Ambassador Kelly, hello. God bless you. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, story from storing. I love that, Vanessa. Burning bay leaves. Good morning. How are you? Good to see you. Yes, I love that story from storing. Yes, I love that. Thank you so much. Cheryl, yes, slowing down. Trust me. Oh my goodness. God has been so faithful. He's been so patient. He's so patient. He is so patient. More patient than I would ever be with myself, for sure. More patient than I am with myself. So I'm glad that he's not like me. So thank you so much for coming in. It's 1031. I'll tell you real quick. Yes, Nicole, he is so patient. I don't even know how he does it. Hey, Lisey, how are you? God bless you. So good to see you, darling. I don't know why he's so patient with me. I'm telling you, I would have given up on me a long time ago, but he hasn't. I'm so glad that he hasn't. So I'll tell you real quick who I am, and hopefully by then, Tina Moore Brown and PK will be here. Hey, Ada, how are you? God bless you. And then we'll get started, okay? Then we will get started. Uh, hey, Nancy, good to see you. God bless you. You got to, you're going to get to experience my live broadcast. That's all awesome. So good to see you here today. Thank you so much, guys, for the hearts. Do me a favor. Don't forget to invite your friends because I got something awesome to share with you guys today. Hey, Ada, how how are you? God bless you. So share, share, share. Invite your friends on Facebook, on Twitter, on Periscope, everywhere where there are people. I would love for you to invite people. So I'll tell you real quick who I am, and then we will get on. Yeah, Vanessa, he is so patient. I don't even know how he does it. Yes, I love that. 
We would be dead for sure, Vanessa. We would. So my name is Minister Catherine Storing, and I do a whole bunch of stuff. I write, I speak, I teach. I'm a personal stylist. I do a whole bunch of stuff. But the main thing that I want to be known for is for being uh, a woman of God, a woman of God that loves to serve. So if you're going to call me anything, just call me a woman of God, and we'll be good. We'll be friends for life. If you if you have to describe myself to um Describe me to anybody who say, hey, that's a woman of God, a woman of faith, that I'm okay with that. You don't have to remember anything else other than I do a whole bunch of stuff and everything that I do, I do for his glory. And I'm doing that at different levels, at higher levels, because that's what he wants me to do, which is so awesome. And he's been so very patient, waiting for me to get with the program, waiting for me to stop doing and start just being um, still, which is what I'm doing uh, in this season, and it's actually, I'm getting used to it, I'll be honest, I'm getting used to it, and I'm seeing the benefits for sure, and there is Tina Moore Brown from North Carolina, uh, and thank you, Beverly, for sharing um, the information for our next stop, so we're going to be in Boston, I'm already in Boston, but Tina Moore Brown and Pastor Kimberly Jones will be flying in from North Carolina and from um, Atlanta, and they will uh, will be here with us and there's PK now that will be here on May 20th which is a national holiday I'm so excited for them they are gonna be getting their tickets hopefully they'll have their tickets already but they will be here on May 20th and it's going to be a party it's going to be amazing okay so I don't know if you if you understand it's gonna be amazing people that were in Atlanta in North Carolina they are still talking about the dream team they are still talking about it so Boston is going to be amazing hey Miriam hey DIY yoga uh, yoga how are you God bless you I miss a whole bunch of people but it's going to be awesome hey Andy God bless you so I hope you guys a national holiday it's my birthday um, Beverly May 20th is my birthday oh thank you for watching from Australia thank you so much yeah it is uh, this this girl's right here birthday I'm turning 41 on May 20th and I'm telling everybody and their brother that it's my birthday I love my birthday the older I get the more I love it thank you thank you love I appreciate that that's my favorite word of endearment by the way love is my favorite awesome so good morning so good to see you are you ready for story time type the number one if you are ready for story time it's so awesome how can you forget beverly how can you forget it was my birthday uh thank you vanessa a woman of god um of a happy encouraging jesus that, that i love that too awesome type the number one guys and i'll tell you story time okay um amazing stuff is happening okay the last 10 days have been um, the last 10 days have been insane, okay? Can I just tell you that? The last 10 days have been crazy, crazy. We do have scripture for today, and I'm going to give you a story time, and then I will then I will explain the scripture, and I just lost Facebook Live. Don't want to do that. Hold on one quick second. There we go. I'm back. All right. So we do have scripture today. Yes, we do have scripture today, but I'm going to give you a story time, and then uh, I will give you the scripture, and it will all make sense. It will all, all of it will make sense. Yes? Are you guys ready? Are you guys excited? I see the ones. Thank you so much. Don't forget to give me thumbs up, to give me hearts. That encourages me. Um, and then, you know, it just makes it more colorful. And you know that I'm all about the color. Yes? Okay, awesome. So, I already introduced myself. This is part of the Dream Team's Pastor Cast. I am the first stop. And then it's Tina Moore Brown. And then it's Pastor Kimberly Jones. So, make sure that you're on, that you follow me. So, after I finish, you're going to watch Tina who's amazing and then of course PK is the finisher and she'll just wrap everything up with a beautiful big purple bow on it because she's awesome uh, and this is who we are the dream team we are amazing women of God and we are called to do this to uh, come online and go to the nations and share what God is doing for us with us and with everyone that God has assigned to us to serve that's what we get to do so that's that's who the dream team is thank you touch by the word really appreciate that so story time the last 10 days have been insane okay have been yeah nations Tina nations so the last 10 days have been crazy so let me just give you a quick recap in case you've never been on my scopes and you need to know what's happening so Catherine Storing is the original Tasmania devil okay 
Catherine Storing likes to travel 1,000 miles an hour. It is my preferred method. It's what I love to do. I am the queen of multitasking. I can do 10,000 things. I'm really good at it, okay? I'm really good at it. And all things, I love when things are happening fast. I love having 10,000 projects. It's, it's what I'm known for, okay? If you see me, I'm going, I'm going here, I'm going there. It's crazy, okay? That's where I thrive, okay? I'm just being honest with you. That is where I, I thrive. And I thought, I'm doing all of this for the glory of God. It's good, right? He loves that. It's how he created me. It's good. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But this month, this month, God has been, and I think he has been saying this for a while, but because I was so busy, I couldn't hear it. Okay, and hopefully this is going to minister to somebody else. I know that it is actually. So if you're watching this live or watching the replay, this is for you. If you're feeling like, I don't know, Catherine, you're just describing me right now and, and you're getting sick and allergies are getting you, things that usually don't get you before, awesome, awesome, Dion. Things that did not get you before, they are getting you now. Because allergies have never been bad for me, not like this before. I've been having an issue with... Um, energy and energy i'm like an energy producer okay you people sometimes get tired just looking at me because i'm always running i'm always going there and all of a sudden i have to go to my doctor on friday dion because my energy is just been tanking okay and then whenever i want to do any business stuff and i'm a doer okay uh, hey, Angela, how are you? Uh, good to see you, darling. Whenever I'm doing, um, I want to do business stuff, I couldn't do it. And I'm a doer. I love doing things, okay? I love doing things. Okay, my name is Catherine Storing, and I'm a doer. That's what I do. But lately, I just haven't been able to do as much as I like to do. And that drives me bonkers, okay? That drives me bonkers. So, I fought it for a little bit, I fought it for a little bit, and then I realized there's nothing that I can do, there's nothing that I can do, I might as well listen, I might as well pray and see what he wants me to, to do, because nothing is happening, okay, nothing is happening, so I, I went with the flow, so the last 10 days have been critical, critical for Catherine's story because he has been showing me some things in a really powerful, mighty way, super duper fast. The last 10 days might as well been 10 days, 10 years, okay? That's the way it feels to me, the way he's taking me places, the way he's opening doors for me when I'm not doing anything because you know what? I have been so busy doing that I could, I could do things to a certain level. Okay, uh, but God can take things to a whole nother level. Okay, so the last 10 days, he's been doing amazing things when I have been doing nothing. Okay, I cannot explain that. That's just what he wants to do. He's been showing me different things and showing me his word at a higher level. You know, when you know something and you think, oh, wow, I really got I really got a hold of that. I really get that. And then the Holy Spirit just blows your mind and you see it at a different level. And I have had the time to do that. I have had the this, the, the mindset to be there. Oh, I know, Cheryl. That's what, exactly what he's doing. So he's just being really gentle with me because he knows I need gentle. But he's, he's had used different things. So if you have been sick, if you have lost your energy, if you're not feeling your best and you're like everything you try is just not, not really flowing, you might need to be still. And I know what you're thinking. I have so much to do, Catherine. You don't even understand. I have so much to do. And that's why the title of today's broadcast, Why Being Still Will Get You There Faster. Okay? Why being still will get you there faster, okay? So, 10 days. The last 10 days, God has been doing amazing things, showing me things that I hadn't seen before, changing my eyes, like, in the spot, like, showing me something that I have been looking at for a very long time, and I just didn't see it. Do you, do you understand that God has been showing me different things that I saw? that I thought I saw before, but I didn't see it. So I had to go back. And that meant I had to be still for him to show me. I had to be still. So, so 
before I was always running, always, always, always running. So now I'm not. Now I'm not. Now I'm really listening and I'm taking my time and I'm not rushing and it's amazing. I'm really getting the hang of it. I am I'm, I'm, I'm slowly but surely getting there, you know, listening to what God wants me to do. So Saturday, he knows my heart, right? He knows my heart. He knows I want to teach a lot of things. He knows I want to talk about many things. And I have a very active imagination. I'm always thinking. I always have stories in my head. I don't know if you guys knew that. I don't know if you guys knew that. But I always have stories running in my head, always. And they're really crazy, like elaborate and creative and all these things, right? Always. Yes, he is. He's so awesome, my friend. He is so awesome. But anyway, Saturday morning, I sat on the steps of my porch with my chai tea, and I had no phone. I had no notes. I had nothing. Just my chai tea and the birds. The birds are... This is me. The, I don't think you guys understand this. This is me sitting outside, not doing anything. Just that by itself blows my mind. Now, you understand that? It blows my mind. I did not have my phone. I did not have notes. I was doing nothing. Tina, I was listening to the birds chirping. Me, this crazy Tasmania devil kind of girl, was sitting outside, good morning, my brother Glenn, sitting outside, listening to the birds chirping. Just listening to the birds chirping. I have to say that one more time because I don't think you guys understand. I'm doing awesome, my brother. I'm doing awesome. So while I'm listening to the birds chirping, I start talking to God. And I, I go in on, on story mode. That, that's where it goes. It go, I go into story mode. And then I'm like, wow, if that were to happen, I would write that story. If that were to happen, I will write that story. And I said that, and I, st I, I, I stayed still. I did nothing. I did not run to get my, my pen, to get my phone. I did not run. I stay with it. I stay still. I stay still. And I just heard it so gently, so quiet, so quiet. Why don't you just write it? It doesn't have to happen. You can just write it. And I'm like, I can do that? I can just, I can just do that? He's like, you need to write more fiction. You, you, you try this thing once, you loved it, you fell in love with it. You need to write more fiction. So I was like, okay, okay. And that just blew my mind. That just blew my mind. Exactly, PK, just write it. Just write it. So I was like, I have choices. I can do my teaching books. I can do my um, my prophetic writing. This is this is this is the only word I can use. It's prophetic writing. The novel that I wrote in the summertime. It's it's a prophetic novel. That's the only way I can say it. So I was blown away by that, and I thought, wow, this still business is a big deal. There's something to this thing about being still there's something about this tina i'm telling you i was losing my mind so that was that but then i started thinking well the, that's one thing that i could do um how am i gonna teach these other things that i want to teach there's so many things that i want to teach i want to talk about dating and marriage and sex and waiting in in serving and traveling how do i do all those things right but i'm not freaking out about it I'm just, I'm just being, I'm just being still, okay? I'm just being still. So, Sunday morning comes. Yeah, how do I do all those things, Tina? Sunday morning comes, and again, I'm not rushing to go to church. God wakes me up early. I'm in his presence. I'm walking around. This time I go down and I stay by my door on the steps. That's what I, I didn't. I just opened the door and I sat there with my oatmeal and my cranberries. That's what I have most mornings. Oatmeal with some cranberries in it, no sugar, 
no nothing that's what i'm doing yeah he really is pk he really is so i'm sitting there i'm sitting there and then god says what if you do a series and you do it this way and then every every series every every installment you teach one of the things that you want to teach about and they're all connected and what if you make it a love story at the same time and then it connects and then there's mystery and there's these characters and i'm sitting there and again i had no phone i had no notes i had nothing i i have my oatmeal and i have jesus with me that's it that's all exactly that's all i had that's all i had so i'm like okay okay that's that's interesting but what about this other book that you gave me like you know how do how do i integrate that but i'm not rushing about it i'm just talking and listening that's because i'm not rushing so it's all good it's all good yesterday was amazing i go to church amazing amazing um worship amazing word i'm in i'm in it yeah that's enough for me right pk i'm in it it's amazing um amazing connections i made there everything is great like today cannot cannot get yesterday couldn't get any better or so i thought so i was in the word i'm listening i listened to uh prevailing love worship center which was amazing i'm just like really i'm like this is great so let me let now that i'm feeling a little better now that i got this allergy stuff under control let let me do some work let me just do some work because i miss it i'm not gonna lie i i'm having a little bit of a, a workaholic um withdrawals if you will so i'm there and i'm like okay i'm just gonna get my laptop i got the charger i sat on the floor i got everything i got my my um my external drive and i open my laptop and i cannot work i i can't do it and the old me would have forced myself to do it the old me would have forced myself to do it and i opened it and there's lots of stuff to be done you know that, that you're always busy i just couldn't do it i just couldn't do it so i'm like okay so what do you want me to do what do you want me to do and P uh, tina that's when i did that, that research that i sent you i typed that in i was gonna text somebody and i'm like I'm, i was gonna ask i'm like i'm just ask god i'm just gonna ask him so i i put that on youtube knowing that something will come up so I typed that on YouTube and that came up. I know that person. They have three books talking about that. They're talking about that. Okay. And then that's the video that I sent to, I said, start with this video. So I'm like, okay, yeah, I just asked them. I didn't ask anybody else. I just asked God. Okay. That's because I'm being still, I, I'm still going. This is still, still story time. Please stay with me. Okay. Please stay with me. So I popped the first video on, I watched the, I, I check out the videos, the, the, the books, the books are amazing. It's a series of books, exactly where God is taking me, the training that I need. I'm like, great God, this is awesome. This is so awesome. So I put the first video on, it's a video that goes with the book. I put the first video on and then he starts to explain what being in the prophetic is. Cause I don't, you know. Uh, this is something that I'm that I'm still I'm still learning. I'm still learning. So he explains what being in the prophetic is from the beginning. Like the person asked him, she asked him, so how do you get started? How did you get started? And he answered, I love him. You can look him up, Graham Cook. He's amazing. And he started talking and he said, Well, it starts with having this this um unsettling feeling about someone and then you you cannot you cannot shake it and you start feeling things for somebody else and and you feel like you need to talk to them and 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 and, and, and you just want to tell them things and you just got but just you start just being just stop worrying about someone and i just started to cry i just started to cry because i've been feeling that for different people okay and i call people or i text people or i tell them and i'm like listen i've been feeling this i don't know about this i don't know about that and i'm like i was overwhelmed i was literally overwhelmed because the way he described it is exactly what i have been and i didn't know what that was i didn't know and the way he explained it was such a way thank you angela it was such a way so clear 
And I'm like, so that's what that is. That's that's the gift of the prophetic. That's what that is. Okay. Okay, and and I and I've been hungry about it. I've been so hungry. Like like you know like when you're hungry and you're starving. I'm an eater. I'm a foodie. I love food. So I've been like craving it and looking it. And what does that mean? And what do I find it? And hungry, like hungry for it. And here it is, like black and white. I know exactly where to get that food. And it came to me because I was not doing things because I was being still. So I'm in, I'm looking in the room and I'm like, is this happening? Is this happening right now? In this moment, this is happening right now in this moment. And then this word came to mind, this scripture came to mind. I, I need to read this for you. It's on P, uh, 2 Peter 3, 8, okay? 2 Peter 3, 8, hopefully you can still see me. 2 Peter 3, 8, and I have to look up the scripture because it is that, that powerful. Let me see if I can get the iPad to work. Um, a very small voice. Just be still, Catherine. Just be, hey, my brother Curtis, how are you? God bless you. Um, just be still, Catherine. Yeah, Second Peter, Second Peter three eight. And I know this scripture. I know this scripture. You know, if if you've been a Christian, you know this scripture, okay? And this is why I want I want to tie everything back together. And hopefully, this is gonna bless you, okay? Hopefully, this is gonna bless you. So Second Peter. 3.8. I, maybe you know this scripture and you're like, Catherine, I know. That's nothing new. I know that scripture, Catherine. What are you talking about? I don't even know how that ties to this. And I didn't think it tied to this either, but I'm going to tell you why it ties together so beautifully, so amazingly. It ties be very, very beautiful. Second Peter 3.8. I told you 10 days, right? For the last 10 days, God has been teaching me God has been taking me in. Um, yeah, I did say Grandpa Cook. He is amazing. I do love him too. Anyway, I known this for a very long time, but I didn't. I didn't really get it personally. Have you ever heard a word, but you don't get it personally? Like you don't even understand what it means personally. So this is what he says. But do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years like a day but do not forget this one thing dear friends with the lord a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years like a day and yesterday i saw that in a way that i haven't seen before i just haven't seen that scripture in the same way because when you are running from place to place it's because you believe that you need to make up for lost time. You believe that there's so much to be done that you don't have time, that you wanna get there to the proverbial there, whatever that there is for you, and you're saying, I need more, I need to do more. I need to do more. And you know, um, Nona is Second Peter 3, 8. And what I have learned firsthand that in the last 10 days is that God can do more in 10 days of me doing nothing, listen to me, God can do more in 10 days of me doing nothing than if I spend a whole entire year doing busy work. Doing, and I wasn't doing bad things. Again, I need to reiterate that you're not doing bad things either, but God can do more by me doing nothing in 10 days. In those 10 days, I, I, I grown like 10 years worth, okay? in just 10 days of me trying to figure out what does God want me to do, okay? And understanding that when I'm still in his presence, he is redeeming the time. Is that, does that make sense to somebody? Is that for somebody that you have been so busy and you think you're so far behind that you don't have time to spend an hour in his presence because you're really busy you're really busy. You don't have two hours. You don't have two hours to spend with him to be writing books. So what God is revealing to me is, Catherine, what, where I'm taking you, Catherine's story, you're going to be writing more prophetic books. You're going to be writing more love stories that the world needs that are real, that are real. And I'm going to have you teaching other people, other people how to do that at a scale that you cannot comprehend. And I needed to take you here. I needed to slow you down so you could hear me. 
so you can trust me that it's gonna happen i'm gonna make that happen for you you don't need to make it happen can i just be honest with you and i thought that it was up to me to make it happen because you know sometimes you you hear the word you hear the promise and you take it up on yourself that's awesome vanessa you take it up on yourself you're like okay god gave me a promise i need to make that promise happen and we go on busy mode and we start typing and we start running and we're doing a whole bunch of stuff because we think that the blessing ended with the word. We thought that the blessing ended with the word. And the word, the blessing, the prophecy was just the very beginning, was just the very beginning. He is in the promise. He is in the prophecy. He is in the blessing. And he's going to make it happen for you. You don't have to. You don't have to do it. So take it from, from a Martha, okay? That, that if, if I were ever going to give me a name, take it from a Martha that always wants to do what's right, that always is looking out for what needs to get done. But when you're in that mode, you miss the intimacy. You miss the intimacy. Amen. You miss what's happening What's happening in the atmosphere. You miss it. I, I don't want to miss it anymore. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done. I understand that. But that doesn't mean that it has to be done by me. And that if it doesn't get done, the world is not going to end. So if you're a doer, if you... Take it upon yourself to make sure that everything is just so. You're missing out on the word. You're missing out on the intimacy. And you, you don't want to miss anymore, Minister Lawana. I'm so glad. I don't want to miss that anymore in the business. So you know what? Uh, this this new Catherine, this new Catherine, it's, it's, it's going to take some getting used to to me. I'm sure there are going to be times that he's still going to use my gifting of multitasking. He will. But this is a new time. This is a new day, okay? This is a new way of doing things. And that requires you to be still. You need to, you need to hold on to this word, 2 Peter 3a. You need to trust that he's redeeming the time. That to him a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years like a day. There's no need to rush around anymore. Not anymore. He does, Vanessa. He wants he wants you for himself. He wants you and me for himself. So who is willing to decree and declare that they're gonna be still in his presence? I just wanna see uh, who's gonna declare. I'm declaring that myself. Catherine Storing is decreeing and declaring that I'm gonna be still in his presence. That yes, there's so many things I need to get done, but what I need to do is be still still in his presence quality time not 15 minutes not 15 minutes because you, you there's no time that's what I love about um, PK I was telling someone on Saturday I was speaking on Saturday and I was describing what I'm looking for and I said what I'm looking for is not timed what I'm looking for is not a church that's gonna go with the time 15 minutes for this five minutes for that and I did not say prevailing love worship center but I was the, I was describing what you guys do you allow the holy spirit to determine when what is going to happen and how long that's going to happen we we got to stop being so orderly if you will i hope that makes sense we got to stop being so orderly that we lose sight of the holy spirit the holy spirit will do what the holy spirit will do is that is that okay to say I hope it is because I'm saying it and I believe it. I believe that in the core of my being. That's not who I used to be. That's not who I was raised to be. But I believe that's what I am today. That the Holy Spirit will do what the Holy Spirit will do. And it will take as long as it's going to take. Some people are not going to be okay with that. And they're going to miss out. Because they think, you know, we got to go watch the game. We, you know, we, we got to go have lunch. And, and they're missing out. I'm going to get my food. And I'm going to take it in this, in this slow cooker. For those of you that were in, in Atlanta, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm getting my food in the slow cooker. I, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait it out. I, I, I'm going to let it simmer. And I'm going to be still in his presence. In his presence. And that's it. 
yes you do have to take you have to say it decree and declare it first so that's what i have for you today that's what god is doing in my life and i i, I decided that i'm gonna be vulnerable to a degree that i haven't been before and that's gonna be uncomfortable for some people and that's okay that's totally okay yeah i know if i'm yeah i don't get that beverly i don't want that i don't want that anymore so that's 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 Catherine storing unplugged if you will tina moore brown is next she can go set up that's the word for today i hope it blessed you i hope that you're okay with what god is doing and if you're not okay that's okay too i'm still gonna do what god wants me to do there's tina moore brown make sure that you're following her because she's gonna go next thank you beverly god is awesome and he's looking to overwhelm us with his presence He's looking to make us lose our words because he's giving us new words. He's giving us new, he's giving me a new word and new identity and new name. I am, don't call me Martha anymore. That's not who I am. Thank you, my brother Glenn. God bless you. Don't, don't allow yourself to be called that anymore. Vanessa, God's changing your name too. You're no longer Martha. He's slowing you down for a reason. There's always a reason why. There's always a reason why. No words. New words, my sister. New words. Thank you, my brother Glenn. God bless you. You guys let me know when Tina's live. I see she's still giving heart, so she's probably getting ready. But um, thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for allowing me the extra minutes that I took. Uh, but I thought it was necessary. And sometimes you just got to do what the, uh, the Holy Spirit tells you to do. Uh, that's the season that I'm in. And I'm excited about this season. So you'll please be in prayer for me. Please pray for me as, as I continue to learn. And I hope to see you uh, on May 20th here in Boston uh, great things are happening on May 20th here in Boston so if you haven't gotten your ticket yet I don't know what you're waiting for I really don't know what you I don't know what God's gonna do that day but I'm praying for I'm, I'm praying for a special birthday present PK I'm praying for a very special birthday present so I've been praying fervently for it um, so you want to be there to see what it is she's live awesome awesome let's go watch Tina Moore Brown God bless you guys God bless you.